Welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video we're going to take ping and we're going to go through all the options, or maybe not all the options, but most of the options in ping that will help you diagnose your network problems, which you will undoubtedly run into as you practice for your CCNA, CCNP, or CCIE certifications. Right, so no matter uh, no matter how good you are, let's say you're designing a network, you're po popping in IP addresses, well, things are going to go wrong, and you want to test out connectivity from one side to the other. So, in our case here, we've got two routers, and you can see the IP addresses there. I don't need to read them off to you, but usually in the past, what you've probably done is ping 1.1.1.2 just to see if you can get to the other side. So, okay, that's that's pretty easy, but usually. Well, maybe not usually, but sometimes you want to use other options to see if you have full connectivity. So it would be premature to say that you have full connectivity on this network. Well, one, I designed it, so I know that I haven't started RIP or anything like that, and I know that I don't have any static routes, so we would verify that. Show IP protocols, you see nothing's running. Show IP route, no static routes, no dynamic routes, right? So let's try the ping again hit a space, hit question mark, and these are the different options we have with ping. So one of the things you'll use a lot is you'll ping from a source interface. So source, question mark, got all these interfaces. You could also ping from a source address. In our case, we'll do ping source loopback zero, right? And that ping's not gonna work because the loopback zero IP does not have any route to get to 1.1.1.2. Okay. So we'll do that ping source, and this time we'll do an IP address. So I'm, I'm pinging from this IP address. And you can see we basically have the same results. If you ever want to stop this, you could hit control shift six. That's the breakout command from there. Let's try the ping again. Let's see what other options we could do. Ping source, so you can ping with a size. So 500 byte packet goes through just fine. Thousand byte, or uh, that was a hundred thousand byte packet goes through just fine. Ten thousand byte packet goes through just fine. Let's do that ping again. Let's see what other options we have. Repeat. This is something you'll use quite a bit when you're testing out backup, redundant, and uh, failover connections. So you'll start a repeat with, let's say, uh, uh, probably 2500. So it's going to ping 2500 times. And you can see you've got the exclamation marks, which means everything's coming back fine. You'll down an interface or you'll change a metric in order to change the path. And you want to see how many pings drop and how many pings will, will go through. You also are concerned with how fast the failover happens. So if you see a link drop, what's going to happen is the pings are going to turn into dots. And if you get one or two dots and then it goes back to exclamation marks, it means that convergence has happened fairly quickly. So the route has been recalculated and now your pings are going a different way towards the destination. If the ping uh, never comes back, well, you, you know your failover your, or your redundant path uh, does not work. So that's a pretty bad sign. Let's see what else we can do. So ping 1.1. Oh, so you can see if you hit the question mark after ping, as I accidentally did, you can ping a lot more than an IP address. You could ping an IPv6 address. You could ping other stuff. Uh, you know, Apple Talk. Hey, look at that. DeckNet, IPX. So this is stuff left over uh, from the old days. You could also ping by a host name. So if you have a DNS name and your router is doing DNS lookups, then you could certainly ping by DNS. For now, we'll keep on uh, ping in that IP address. We'll hit uh, question mark. So we've done repeat, size, and source. Uh, you could also do set the do not fragment bit. So here's what this does. If I ping it and I just do DF bit, nothing's going to happen because the pings by default are 100 bytes. So it doesn't need to fragment uh, a 100 byte packet. And we could see the MTU, and if you've been uh, studying, your MTU is the maximum maximum transmission unit, how big the packet can be before the router chops it up into pieces. So we could do a show int fast zero zero. And you can see here the MTU is 1500 bytes. Okay, so here's what we could do. With the ping command and the different options, you could actually chain 
these commands together. So I could do df bit, hit space, and then if I hit question mark there, I can put a size after that. So set the do not fragment bit and set the size. So if we say 1000 byte, it's still going to go through because it doesn't need to chop it up into different pieces. 1499, just under our MTU, packets still go through. 1500, still go through. Now, here's the true test. We're going to set the size to 1501, which is just one byte outside of our MTU. And we're saying do not fragment. We're saying do not chop it up into different pieces. If you try to chop it up into different pieces, it's going to return an error. And you can see the pings currently die. The reason is they're larger than the MTU and they're not going through. So this is a one command that you might use to test out your QoS. Uh, obviously to test out MTU, see if you have MTU set correctly throughout your network. It uh, could also be used in VLAN testing to see if all the MTUs are set correctly on the VLANs too. So speaking of going back to chaining together the ping command, so if we do ping, you could say repeat 500, set the DF bit, you know, we could keep on going, size 1500, source <laughs> loopback 0. So you could you could do quite a bit with, with this if you wanted to. So we could do that. And they're not going to go through. And the reason is we don't have a path from loopback 0 to the dot two address on router 2. But you can see the power of ping if you start messing around with the different commands, you know, the different modifiers that you could do after it. And of course, to break out, control shift 6 Get out of that. So there you have it, ping with the different options. All you have to do is a question mark after your destination IP, and you'll get different options. Fun to play around with. Uh, you know, spend, spend about 30 minutes playing around with it, and you should have no problems memorizing it. Well, that was ping and the options. Thanks for watching.